I'm right here in front of Magic Leap Headquarters, the original Motorola building in Plantation, Florida. I am posting my very first LinkedIn native video, so I wanna thank the video team over at LinkedIn for opening up this exclusive feature for the moment. And I also wanna thank uh, everybody who follows me on LinkedIn. I recently hit 20,000 followers, and wow, I, I can't even thank you enough. Today I'm here to talk to you about something really special. One of my favorite companies that I'm really looking forward to is Magic Leap, presumably. It's a mixed reality headset and it's one of the most secretive startups in the world. There's so little information about this company and what they're working on, so a surprise to see a research paper about some of their techniques that they're developing. What were they talking about and how can I simplify it? Two convolutional neural networks one is called Magic Point, and the other one is called Magic Warp, which will help them identify objects through the camera, like a table or a chair. Now, what the hell does that mean? As lighting changes, as you're moving throughout a scene, there's blurs in the view of the computer, and they need to be able to say, oh, okay, the camera has moved, but that is still the same sign behind us. And so, in order for it to place a invisible ballerina, an elephant, or any of these things that we would love to see and experience, it has to be accurate on how it's placed on the physical plane. But if it's hovering slightly off the ground, if the shadows are wrong, then we'll think it's fake and most consumers will think that's a terrible product. More computational load means bigger computers and thus gets bulkier the more hardware you put into these devices. So what they're trying to achieve is something that will compute outside of the glasses, and that way it can realistically place the objects to sit on top in which our eyes are like, wow, that looks super real. They've already achieved 30 frames per second, which if you don't know what that means, our televisions are 29.97 frames per second, and that's what we've known for years. So they have begun developing their own uh, convolutional neural networks, in order to achieve it and I can't believe that you know they've released this research so it could be a clue that something is coming soon that's all I have for you today I'm gonna continue to post videos which help simplify complex technologies because I believe information should be democratized in a way that anyone can understand because our world is changing rapidly so that way we can make decisions on where we want to go as a species but if the, the information is too hard to understand then we cannot have a conversation about what's happening hopefully you'll continue to follow me or check out my content uh, thanks again to LinkedIn. Special shout out to Ghost VR. I'll see you again uh, sometime soon to tell you about more interesting things that are going on in the world.